New Mexico scientists and environmentalists are carefully combi combi combing the wooded areas for pine cones. As News 13's Rachel Knapp shows you, they hope each pine cone can save our forests. It's just another day at the office for these forest workers. But today, they went out on a limb. Pretty far up here. All for some pine cones from the Ponderosa trees in the Jemez Mountains. But they are not after just any pine cones. We're looking for cones that are still closed, that are kind of brown, purplish in color. This is the kind of pine cone that they're looking for, and inside it, they're trying to find these little seeds. It's important for restoration efforts that the, the seeds that we're using and the seedlings that we're putting into restoration and reforestation efforts, that they're going to be able to withstand harsh conditions. Environmentalists tell us they're collecting seeds from the pine cones to help bring forests back to life in places like Bandelier, where they've been hit by wildfires. Uh, they experience a devastating fire, and uh, what we're trying to do is reincorporate the same uh, genetic seed into their, their area. Environmentalists tell us they're out here now because it's a rare opportunity. Basically, um, what we're experiencing this year is called a mass seeding year. The Ponderosas are producing so many pine cones. That's something that happens every 10 to 15 years. And with so many pine cones, they're hoping to collect a million seeds and plant them in parts of the state that need them the most. These workers braved the cold Give me slack. for a good cause for the future of New Mexico's forests. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. The snow slowed down their efforts a little bit today. We're told the seeds they don't plant right away will be stored in a so-called seed bank to use in the future.